Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, mate. Just going through Heathrow. I mean, the security. I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, what, you know, what's all that about? You know, at one stage, I actually heard myself say, do you know who I am? Did they? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, of course they Is that an oversight on our part? Yeah. So, come on. What have you got for me? All you need to know, Prime Minister, is that there are very important reasons for you flying around the world which the public really don't need to know. Well, well I'd like to know. No, no, no. <laughs> that is all you need to know. Just fill me in a bit. Uh, right, well, um, obviously this is all covered by the um, Official Secrets Act anyway. Right. But um, I can tell you, we do know there is a group of dangerous troublemakers in the country. Right, thank well now we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And what do we know about them? They have a nuclear device. So what? We are at least oh, sorry, can, reassured a nuclear that device. Our yes, well this let's look on the bright side. At least this means that our intelligence gathering operations are working well. Did you know about this? Yeah. How did you find out about it? He's I told you he's good. Yes, he is good. So it's a nuclear device? Yes. Right. And so, who's got it? We can't tell anybody, because then if we tell anybody, they'll know that we know that they've got a secret nuclear device, and then they'll, and then they'll go and run for cover and hide, and it'll tip them a wink, and <laughs> uh, we, won't, we won't know where they are. Right. So, okay. um, the best thing is not to do anything. And then when they, when they do do something... Then we'll know who they are. We'll have them on no. toast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. But in the meantime, what do I tell people? I've told you, Tony, don't tell them anything. All they do is worry about things, you know. But they need to know why I'm doing it. Just, we let out a bit of information now and again, you know, that's all. Keep them happy, you know, like, uh, like that boat thing at the Isle of Wight. What, the, the boat bomb? Yeah. The Isle of Wight? Yeah. Yeah. Well? Well, what? Are you telling, was that one of, was that one of his? Did you two... No, it's just, it's only... I tell you what, I turned my back mm. for two weeks, and you guys are just... Look, Tony, mm. look, you've got good yeah. headlines, it's in all the newspapers, right? Why is our Prime Minister flying halfway around the world? That's the reason why. On your doorstep, eh? Hey? Right. Hey? OK, OK. Get your right, fishy so... on your little dishy, top of the chop, son, eh? Hey? <laughs> OK, so what do we know? Come on, tell us about the group. Well, we've not been idle, obviously, and we have a large number of people, uh, very qualified people, um, whose job it is to pinpoint the threat. Right. And we've brought it down to men with beards. Men with, beards. Men with beards. Frank Dobson. We have a very, very... Oh, Frank Dobson. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, no, that's no, that's, that's no joke, because his son has actually converted to Islam. Has he? Yes. Can so I make a list of this? He, he, um, you can. Yes, you can make a list. That, that pen won't work. It's an invisible one. Here, try that. Um, so, okay. beards. Men with beards. Now, obviously, the people that we're working with, well, they're not idiots. They're members of the intelligence community. And uh, so, after a lot of uh, debate, and um, uh, we've we've come up with this this possibility. It's only a possibility that they might shave them off, or well, because they won't stop at anything, will they? They won't. This is one of the features of your international terrorist: is that they won't really do anything to help you. They're ruthless. They're ruthless and beardless. Some of them. So, men with beards and men without beards. Right. And we're also extending our search to... Um, you remember the chap on the plane with the yeah. bomb in his Old heel? Yeah, feet, yeah. Do you want to jot this down? People with shoes. <laughs>
from what you're telling me, when they say, you know, why are you going around the world, I'll say, well, you know, well, I don't have to say. I'll just you have said, to say, you know. Follow my lead. I'm right. sorry, I can't tell you that. That's fine. Because that, my whole career has really been based well, on learning how to yeah. say, I'm okay. sorry, but I can't tell you. Actually, I shouldn't okay. have told you that. Next. Well, look, I've, I've got to go anyway, because I've got a very busy afternoon. Um, no, I know I you have. have. Well, what do you mean? Well, you've got a uh, meeting with the health services chiefs at 3, 4 o'clock quality time with Leo, 4.05 transport meeting. How, how do you know about that? But the transport meeting? No, Leo. Oh, he's working for us. <laughs> you know the little toy? Yeah. That he's got, he never yeah. lets go of? Yeah. It's a camera. It's I've got you up here on my screen most of the time. Actually, he's doing well, isn't he? I mean, he's he's very he, good, he's, yeah. he's nearly talking. Is he? Yeah. I've told him not to do that. <laughs> yeah. right. Well, uh, I can't stand around here chatting all day. I'll, um... I'll see you, well, I'll see you on the screen. As a matter of fact, yeah. By the way, may I say, Prime Minister, what a lovely singing voice you have. Yeah, thank you. I particularly thank like you, Stephen. That, um, Catch you in a minute, Sonny. Big Rock, Big Rock Candy Mountain, that's my right. favourite.